Yo, 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 it's your boy J4Peace back with another video. And yes, today I'm going to be asking the question, are EXs becoming more expensive? Like, is it bad that EXs are becoming more expensive? Like, and before we get into it, if you guys want to support your boy, please like, share, subscribe. We're almost at 950, so you know what I'm saying? I did that. Almost halfway to a K. So, you know, we're going to keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys want to join my second channel, link in the description. If you guys want to join my Discord, link in the description as well. Anyway, so I think I didn't clarify it in the beginning. But it's not really is if, if EXs are getting more expensive. Because it's kind of also, it's true, but it's kind of not true. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, is it? Is it bad that? Well, I already basically said it. Like, are EXs are EX, are EXs becoming more expensive? Is it bad that? Oh my God, I'm on crack. But anyway, <clears throat> let's just tackle to the topic. So, when we're looking at the previous EXs, you know, um, last anniversary, all all all, all of them were over three K, which is is insane. Which is is bad. It is bad. Okay. Let's dive into the cons. Now, let's dive into some of the cons here. Okay, first. Then I'm going to do some pros probably later on in the video. But cons, we're going to tackle the cons for now. Now, the first con for me is that why was the EXs worth 3K, bruh? 3K for Yace? My nigga, like, Yace, I know he destroys Gear 5 or whatever, but really? 3K plus for these, for, for that nigga? Knowing that we were going to get Roger after like compare like bro just look at yace and then look at roger one got a donut to his to his stomach and another nigga was a g until he died you know what i'm saying he even turned himself in okay you're telling me that a nigga that got and i, and I love and i, love, and I listen look i love i love Ye ace he's one of my favorite characters but that nigga got a pair of back shot fams uh, he, okay he got a back shot bro pause but it's facts like look at the look at this look at this nigga look at this nigga 3k plus for this nigga okay and then on top of it alongside him we got yamato even though we had two more exes with this nigga she we already had two exes of yamato bruh two 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 do you understand what I'm saying? So, 3K plus for that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't like 3K. It wasn't exactly 3K. I think it was 3.2K to be exact, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's even worse. And guess what, too? Roger was cheaper than that. He was cheaper. I think he cost exactly only 3K. And I think Bandai did that because of they knew how expensive the first one was. You know what I'm saying? And then... Uh, what's it? What's his name? Uh, White Beard. I think he cost a 3.1 or 3.2. I don't remember exactly. Y'all can r remind me in the comment section. I I'll probably or probably just put it on the screen for y'all. But you know, you know what I'm saying? So like all the fact that that's probably one of the major cons, and it kind of had me worried. Like at that anniversary, I was kind of disappointed with the with the entire fifth anniversary. I did I did like Ace, and I did summon for Ace. I did get Whitebeard because Whitebeard is one of my favorite characters. I did, you know what I'm saying? I already, I already, guys told you about Roger. Anybody who's been watching for a while, a while knows that I, I didn't like the new Roger just because of my opinions. If you guys want to see a full, more of more exp explanation of that, you guys can, uh, you guys can watch that video. But um, if you guys know the reasons, you know the reasons why. Um, and say, and making making that anniversary making those characters 3k plus for all each of them is just bad not just in not just just not just because of the characters but also for the players as well like free to play players and, and you know me personally i used to be a pay to win player um uh, the only way i pay to win is if it's like it's for the content or for the channel so yeah i know i'm a content creator it's tough right but i've recently over the past five ever since this past anniversary i've not been spending at all like literally i've literally um been free to play most of the time i've not paid for nothing even the new skins that i want like the new skin i wanted uh what's it called um uh, if you go to the exchange shop here i really wanted to get uh uh what's the king is which is a king skins king skin looks looks beautiful bro oh my god like i might i might get it i'm not gonna lie but <laughs> But you get what I mean, right? Like, I've been free to play, so I'm. I was also thinking about. I've been, I've been uh, thinking about thinking of it recently. Like, yo. 
like is this is this is gonna be bad for like other players but then now i'm gonna dive into the pros here now this is gonna be kind of like a different perspective now when it comes to the pros here when i analyzed it it's like yes they were all 3k plus but yes yes what costed 3.2 right um White Bear was then White Bear was then cheaper than Yace, and then Roger was cheaper than White Beard, and this has happened before. They've always mixed up. Uh, they've always mixed up. Uh, um, what's it called? They've always mixed up uh, units before with prices. Like for example, um, Zef costed a thousand nine hundred when he first came out. Then about almost a year, almost half a year later, right, right during the, the fourth during the fourth anniversary big mom costed a thousand eight hundred so she was a hundred times she was a hundred uh gems cheaper than uh zef so i feel like i feel like bandai won't push the boundaries because i'm that's the thing i'm afraid of because the the biggest the most expensive unit so far when it comes to gems wise is is gear 5 luffy he costed 3.8k that's fucking insane okay 3.8k for gear 5 luffy was crazy and the unit itself is crazy so He's, it's kind of like he's kind of like worth 3.8k not i don't know not now but he's still i think back during that time yes he was worth 3.8k it was crazy but um i feel like they kind of they they will nerf they they've nerfed a lot of uh i feel like they won't exceed that expectation i feel like they won't push that boundary uh, well it is bandai so <laughs> it uh don't be surprised if we get a unit that's 4.5k or some shit like that in the future. I won't be surprised. But I don't think they will go that far, too, too fucking far. Because I think you'll get a lot of complaints from the community and a lot of uh, disagreements. Like how EX Luffy came out. You know, Ex Expensive Luffy. When Expensive Luffy came out, Bandai's ratings went downhill. Like, you don't, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't look at it. Because, like, if you go to the store right now, I think it's like 4.5 or 4.4 star rating. In the store for oh, PBR at that time, it was like four point, like it was around the same, around the same ratings, and it went down all the way to three point nine k. I remember, I remember, it, 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 yeah, I went down three point, yeah, yeah, three point nine k, three point nine, right? People downgraded this shit, gave it a one star. I even gave that shit a one star because of how ridiculous it was releasing an expensive unit like that, and like you know the way they released him and all that it was, it was, it pissed us, off, it pissed us off. You know what I'm saying, and I feel like they don't want they don't want they don't want something like that happening ever again, and they literally had to put out more content and all that during those months and all that shit, or whatever. So I feel like they won't exceed the boundaries and won't break those boundaries. I'm not saying they won't do it. They I think they can. I think they will, but I think it won't be like a frequent often thing. It won't be like a more of an often or frequent thing. I think they're gonna kind of nerf a few like they're gonna kind of nerf the prices uh, a bit for each and every other ex that comes out but there might be an ex coming out in the next few days because um uh, we got the new kaido baits and shit so we'll find out to see what price the next ex is gonna be if it's 3k plus then you can forget about this video this video that might make no sense to you nigga. <laughs> okay but we're gonna see how this anniversary goes see how much gems each of these uh EX's cost and I'll make a I'll make an update video about this later on and and maybe we'll kind of discuss the question is it gonna be is it more of a problem now or some shit so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video stay strong stay safe and uh, yeah I have more content coming stay blessed peace